When I'm ready to run my checks, I simply go up to BIM Interoperability Tools, go to the Model Checker panel, and look for Run. Again, when you run the checks, it is going to be running this check set in Setup. I'm going to click on Run. And when I have the Run dialog box open, I have a couple of options. Here I can add models, remove all models, check all links, or uncheck all links. Here I could choose just the model that I have currently open, and I can add any links if I want to. I can also add other models as well. For additional help on this, you can come right up here to the Help menu. Here you can click on Help, Training, What's New, Any Additional Resources, and About. If I'm ready to run my check, I can simply click on Run Check. Depending on the size of the check, this can take up to several minutes. Here it just took a few moments. What you get is a nice report here that tells you exactly what passed your check set. So here what I have are general element checks. In my check summary I have five checks, two of which failed, sorry, two of which passed and three failed. Here it tells you the report date, the Revit file path, and the check set file. Let's take a look at what actually passed and failed. I'm going to come over here to elements and I'm going to ex expand this window down. I'm going to make this window just a little bit easier for us to take a look at. Here it tells us any duplicate model elements, checks for any model elements that are duplicates. That means identical elements at the same location and base level. Here I have a few items. Here I could take a look at generic models, groups, and then here you can see that I have in place families that passed and mass elements passed as well. So what this means is that I have no in-place families in the model and I have no mass elements in the model. But let's take a look at groups. If I want to expand groups here and take a look at what was actually modeled here as a model group, I can just click on the magnifying glass here. Something else to note is that it gives you the element ID as well. I'm going to click on the magnifying glass and it takes me right to a view for it. Now I can simply minimize this dialog and take a look at the actual model group element. Here it might actually make sense that I want this group here. If I want to edit this, I can simply say ungroup. Now when I bring the dialog back up, if I want this to be updated, I can close, go back to run, run my check again, and here you can see that my percentage has gone up. I have three that passed and two that failed. And here you can see that my groups passed. If I want to, I can copy this, which now is it's copied to clipboard. The content of this report has been copied to your Windows clipboard and can now be pasted in another document. This can be done in a Word document or email. You can also save this as HTML, save it in an Excel spreadsheet, and you can also close. If you close the dialog box at any point, you can go right back to the report. You can come right up here to view report and it brings up the last written report.
If I want to run another check, I can simply come up here to setup. And in this example, I'm going to click on open and go to checks by family category. I'm going to click on OK. Here, I have a very long and extensive list of checks by category. I can click on exterior doors and I can see if the fire rating values were empty or the mark values are empty as well. In this example, I'm going to take a moment and I'm going to turn off all of these except for doors and exterior doors. Now that I have all of my other family categories unchecked and just the exteriors checked, I want to just check the fire rating. I want to make sure that it actually has values. So I'm going to turn off these other checks and just keep fire rating checked. I'm going to do a save and close. And now I'm ready to actually run my check. I'm going to come up here to run. I'm going to click on run check. And after a moment here, it tells me exactly what passed and what failed. Here, it tells me exactly that I have five checks and these were not run. So this is something to kind of note here, is that when you have those categories unchecked, it will still tell you that you have five checks for this category, but five were not run. Here I have 100% pass, 300 were not run, and no failures. And you can see a little cancel sign there that says this was not run, but this was. I'm going to close out of this. I'm going to make a change. I'm going to click on my exterior door, click on edit type, and I'm going to come down here to fire rating and actually remove the value. Now I'm going to come back up here to run, run check, and here I have a one failure. And then of course, I can click on the magnifying glass that takes me right to that element and selects it.